Hey Tubies, Scott here. I'm the old dude with the new bees. Got a new video coming your way, so roll that beautiful bee footage. boys and girls Scott here from Wee's Bees uh, but you already knew that uh, old dude not so new bees they're new to me uh, we're having another installment of our welcome to Beeville uh, videos and we're gonna check our Italian bees uh, as you all are aware of we had a little problem a few weeks back uh, the queen was gone for whatever reason either she died or they killed her or she left or uh, any of 100 reasons ah there she is there's my little buddy uh, uh, sometimes ooh, man I do not like the looks of this Sometimes the queens, things just happen. Sometimes the bees attack the queen. Uh, yeah, that's her. That's my little buddy. Uh, uh, like I said, <coughs> everybody needs a little smoke. Uh, any one of a number of a hundred things could have happened. Uh, so we're going to get in here and check. We uh, the last time we actually tried to install a uh, a frame of bees from. Oh my goodness, that is ugly. Yeah, we're in trouble here. Big time trouble. Big time trouble. We got mold and frickin' uh, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, we are in trouble, folks. I need to put these somewhere, because I bet you my new chickens would love to have some of these. Huh. I think these are uh, wax moth larvae. So what we're going to do is we're going to scrape all these bad boys off. And we're going to give them to my new chicky dees. Huh? Where'd that bee go? There we go. Alright. Uh, this is not good. Not good by any frame of the imagination. Oh, there she is in there. Okay. Uh... We're in trouble here, guys. That is all there is to it. We are in trouble. I do not even know how to proceed with this thing. Let's see how we're doing on... Oh yeah, we got tons of hive beetles. That's good. Probably about time to... Uh, yeah, they didn't even glue this one down. Tons of high beetles. Alright. Uh, we are in real trouble here, guys. I mean, real, real trouble. And I don't even know if we can come back from this. This hive is in extra bad shape. We got all kinds of... Looks like uh, wax moths in here. I think, from the looks of things, this hive has had it. Uh, I hate to say it, but uh, this thing is probably not going to survive from the looks of it. There aren't a whole lot of bees moving around. Uh, looks to me like 
this is done yeah there's a bee there's a cockroach uh, this is probably done there's a few bees left not much to speak of it looks like the wax moths have gotten in here and laid all kinds of stuff uh, somebody probably the the Sasky bees have robbed this hive they have no honey left uh, so take a good look guys this this hive has had it there's a few bees left uh, the wax moths have, have gotten in here and tore it up. There is absolutely no honey left. So that tells me that the other bees rob this hive. And it's just, uh, it's on its last leg. I don't think there's, oh my goodness, look at that. This has just had it. Yep, this hive is done. There's very few bees left. They don't have anything to eat. Uh, I was afraid of this last week. I was hoping we could save them. But as you can see, it's just, it's had it. There's a few bees left. Uh, they are just in real bad shape. What I may do, I don't even know. These bees are going to die. There's nothing I can really do about it. There's a few bees left in here, but uh, they're done. It doesn't take much for these things to get to the point to where everything's just robbed out uh, the cockroaches have gotten in here and, oops I didn't mean to do that uh, they've just robbed them completely the bees the, the combs all messed up uh, I just don't even know what to do with this one it's pretty much a lost cause as bad as I hate to say it uh, the frames are just shot I mean they've been robbed out the, uh, the wax moths have gotten in here and just torn it up just just pathetic I mean just pathetic Four bees. Uh, yeah. They've got these things all nasty. They've completely robbed all the honey out. Uh, these bees are, are on their last leg. There's really nothing we can do for them to save them. I mean, I could give them some, some honey to... Uh, to maybe help them out but uh, the bottom line is these bees are done their history I mean it's just a matter of, of them all dying a lot of them have they don't have any more stores the other bees have robbed them out uh, whew, I don't even know what to do with this thing it is just uh, so terrible <sighs> what to do what to do I guess we could feed them some sugar water just to kind of help them out but you know there's very few bees in there the numbers are, are really 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 dwindling uh, you know there might be a few hundred bees in there so 
this is what happens when you lose your queen and you're not able to uh, to get a queen in there and get the hive strengthened back up uh, you probably lose I don't know you know several hundred to five hundred a thousand bees a day so if you don't have a queen in there laying a thousand two thousand you know eggs a day uh, <clears throat> attrition just takes over and uh, your bees slowly and surely die uh, I wish there was something I could do but at this point uh, they're so far gone it's I mean it's just it's a foregone conclusion that this hive is uh, CCD for everybody that doesn't know what that is that's uh, colony collapse disorder uh, we're just gonna have to start over I, I guess again there's really nothing we can do for these girls they had a good life this year these kind of things happen uh, I wish there was something we could do uh, Verge if you're watching you got a good look at it. Uh, I spoke to my uh, uh, a mentor the other day. He's supposed to be working on me a solution, but uh, it's too late for that. So, uh, if you're out there, Verge, I'm uh, I'm looking for a uh, I'm looking for a solution here. This this hive is uh, toast. Ah, well, it happens. Uh, uh, in, in the world of beekeeping, guys, this is what happens uh, to bees sometimes. You know, it just, you do everything you can for them. And sometimes things just don't work out. I mean, you know, it's just, it's really unfortunate. There's just, uh, we're at a point where it's too late. There is nothing we can do. So, we're going to put this back. And, uh, I don't know, I thought about putting some sugar on it. But, uh, there's really no use. The bees are dying. What, what few are left. So, uh, hopefully, uh, Verge is supposed to be working on some... Uh, Uh, more bees uh, there's a place here somewhere local that selling bees this time of year they sell like a uh, a nuke but it's like an eight frame nuke so we're going to need something because uh, the bees are going to need something to get them going uh, between now when the uh, goldenrod and the aster starts uh, blooming so we'll get us a couple new hives in here and hopefully that'll work out other than that guys uh, glad you guys could come along on our journey and learn the good and the bad of, of beekeeping unfortunately this is something that happens uh, we weren't able to catch it in time so you saw what few bees there were in there and the damage that's been done in the hive with the uh, wax moss and, and the beetles and everything so this is one of the uh, unfortunate uh, uh, happenings with bees. You know, they uh, there's only so much you can do. And this girl just is not going to leave me alone. She wants some of me, something terrible. Okay, uh, anyway, this hive is done. Sorry to tell you, uh, it's just a matter of probably a week or so and all the bees will be dead probably. So this is one of those things. Beekeeping is a, uh, a no holds barred uh, condition. And sometimes bad things happen and this is one of those times so anyway, uh, hopefully here in the next videos, we'll have some good news for you. Uh, last video you saw the uh, Saski bees are doing great. So it's fortunate for us that we didn't lose all of our bees and I think they're really gonna be all right. We're gonna get some more bees in here in the next probably few weeks 
and we'll start working on those and hopefully we'll uh, go into the winter and the spring strong anyway uh, this is what happens with beekeeping have any questions or comments leave them down below uh, if you would subscribe down there uh, like down there I don't even remember how this goes and uh, hit the bell so you'll have all the uh, notifications when we do something other than that have a great evening uh, it's August the 30th I don't think I told you that uh, it's the same time that we did our Sasky inspection have a great evening and uh, we'll see you soon